We are going to use a method called stop motion to create these really magical videos that make it look like Elf is moving all on his own or her own. I've got the female version. First things first is you're going to download a free stop motion video app. This is our app and it's called Life Labs and it's available on iOS or Android. Before we dive into the app, I'm just going to share two basic things with you on the principles of stop motion creation. So first things first, all you have to know is all stop motion is, is a sequence of photos stitched together. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be taking a photo of Elf, moving him a little, take another photo, move a little, so on and so forth. And when you play it back, it looks like he's moving on his own um, once you speed up the video. The second principle is to not move the phone while you're shooting. Because if you're moving the phone, then everything's going to be moving as you take it versus just Elf. If you have a tripod for your phone, amazing. If you don't and you want to get one, they're available on Amazon. You can probably get it overnight if you have Prime. Um, if not, we have a couple different hacks that you can use if you don't have a tripod. The hack is pretty simple and it's just to find something to lean your phone against while you're shooting. So you can use a mug, a cup, a book, anything really, um, as long as the phone is upright and not moving throughout the duration of your shoot. If you want to shoot directly down, a hack for this is to place your phone on the edge of a table or a chair. Um, this will be super handy if you're creating snow angels with Elf. Welcome to Elf on the Shelf tutorial where Elf is moving a pinwheel. The key with this one is to make sure that you're only moving the pinwheel, uh, very small movements and not uh, disturbing the Elf. You are going to want to use either Bluetooth remote or the interval timer and have your volume turned up so you can hear each photo being captured. Don't use the phone to trigger your photos because any movement will create a jerky stop motion. So again, you're just moving the pinwheel bit by bit until you've completed a full cycle. Once you've got all of your shots, you can head into the editing part of the app and do as much or little editing as needed. Typically with the Elf on the Shelf, you're not going to do a lot of editing. So all I did with this one is speed it up and then you can see the final result. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please smash that like button. It really helps get our brand in front of more eyes. This is only one of many Elf on the Shelf video tutorials that we have. If you want to access more ideas on how to bring Elf on the Shelf to life and create videos of him caught on camera moving around your house, please click the link in the description below to access the full playlist. If you share your video on social media, I'd absolutely love to see it. Please include the hashtag elf on the shelf video so I can see what you guys are creating. Thanks for watching.